Welcome back to Skyward Sword. Today we are tackling the Lanaru mining facility. Those are the most adorable dead things now. <laughs> Those are actually kind of cute. Yeah, they kind of are. But they did that, so they have to die. <laughs> well, they're just trying to hug you. Is, how come? I think it's just a bad habit of mine. Every Let's Play, I just see the innocence of enemies. I don't get it. <laughs> I'm just convinced that you're just killing innocent creatures. Well, it's better than seeing every good thing as a bad thing. Well, I, I do that too. <laughs> He's not picky. I'm not picky at all. You could have opened those barrels, man. <laughs> yeah, by picking it up and throwing it and destroying it. <laughs> That's the combination to that safe. <laughs> How'd you guys figure it out? <laughs> It's just cuz. You know. I have no coordination. <laughs> oh god, my leg's having a spasm. It looks like this is another dungeon that's a callback to a Twilight Princess one. Well, Possibly the Arbiter's Ground. Might have been that one. The one with the Possibly. spirits in them. The Spirit Temple? Yeah. Oh, and Arbor's Grounds, yeah. Yeah. They both have... Actually, th does the Spirit Temple have spirits? <laughs> it's a good no, question. No, it doesn't. I don't think it does. Well, the temple itself is a spirit. It explains it all. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I like this big side moment, but you can't carry it all. <laughs> 20 rupees! Put that back! <laughs> but my wallet's not even full yet! I can fit this in my hat! God, I want one of those as a pet. That's so cute. And they can attack my enemies too, which is great. I do like the mechanic that you can put up bombs after they're lit. Yeah. <laughs> I like the failure bug moment. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> you suck. You should probably practice. I mean, whoop, whoop. <laughs> Imagine you're in a basketball game and you use that freaking beetle. <laughs> that beetle is traveling. <laughs> you just keep on occasionally dropping the ball, picking it back up. Look, it's dribbling, I'm swear. <laughs> it is rather inefficient for a midget race to have such high switches. I think the implication is the robots are just the servants of the ancient race. Or maybe the robots are just plain stupid. Well, if they're the uh, if they're the servants, then why do all the architecture have like these designs that look like the robots? Like you look at the door, it looks like the robots. Hey, we've seen these things before. That's a badass looking enemy. Yep. Have to kill all three heads at the same time. So of course I can't do that. <laughs> Except for that time. Except for that time. See, if you look at the wall of the. Of these doors and stuff, they have the face design of those, what they call the ancient robots, which seems kind of weird to call them during present time like this. God, they're so cute! <laughs> <laughs> I want one. Cute little face huggers. <laughs> Made me give birth to an alien. <laughs> <laughs> Look, see, you, you can actually see the ancient robot. See, it's got the eye and everything too, and the hands. Hmm. That's true. And we do never see, like, other sentient life. Sentient conscious life. Of course, we can use that old excuse you used for the Twilight one. They're, it's the goddesses. Are you a robotist, Thorn? <laughs> I get shit from my computer all the time, so I think it's justified. <laughs> I think it's silly to aim something that moves at 0.5 miles per hour. <laughs> What when it controls as badly as this does? Like the Beetle vehicle. Yeah. Thank you for turning on a not a dime. Still haven't learned. <laughs> nope, never will. Still haven't learned. <laughs> Thanks for making that easier. That that one didn't learn. <laughs> That's a kind of a fault on that ancient civilization too. Let's just put this uh, area we have to jump to. Oh what? Over a castle. <laughs> Double just decided. Oh, fuck that last chew. Splat. I'm tired of getting shocked, man. 
A tumbleweed! Oh. <laughs> no, that's good. There's a crate up there, so I can't go up there. I don't want to jump, because I'll end up in the chasm. I thought I was going to put the crate there. <laughs> and it fell off. Just fell off. <laughs> she, she was just like, well, I was going to die anyway. <laughs> Enemy AI. AI don't know. <laughs> Finger guns. Hoi, hoi, hoi. Hoi, hoi, hoi. So, like, Travis and I were talking before uh, recording this. Travis just imagines all game programmers do the finger guns and go hoi hoi hoi. <laughs> that's, that's what they do at meetings for like hours on end. Hoi 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 But like all the asshole ones. And yet, we give Sh Shigeru Miyamoto those. He's like the nicest guy in the world. <laughs> the one we make the meme out of is the, is the famously nicest guy in the world. He made Mario for Christ's sakes. <laughs> is there really any character that's nicer than Mario? Yoshi. Luigi. Yoshi eats everything. Oh, poor Lu- No, I think Luigi's just a little bit jealous or upset all the time. Well, Yoshi's just very hungry, you know? So are cannibals. <laughs> Yoshi isn't a cannibal, though. I'm about to say, got you there. You just run up a ladder. Yeah. You can do that, kind of. Oh yeah, climb, do we? Still haven't learned an ever period of me just dicking around. Still haven't learned. <laughs> if the boss ends up being a giant yellow chew, you're fucked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I see what I need to do now. Don't be spoiling things, Travis. Aw. Clearly I've seen a head in the video. <laughs> and I have to give it some kind of voice, too. Oh, good. A yeah, for some reason, Link gives off a beacon, because we really need to know where he is. A dump or whatever. Can you jump the bomb on yourself, I guess? Probably could, actually. <laughs> that, that should be a gif of failure, just running up the side next to a ladder. <laughs> I was trying to be cool, damn it. Eh? 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 <laughs> like that. Come on, Thorn. <laughs> you have a beetle. And it's slow. Not that that was faster, but <laughs> yeah, you know. exactly. All right, here we go. Mining facility in the past, and now we're super retro futuristic. Man. I got a kind of move his mouth like that. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> That is this game's version of the Beemos, and that's this game's version of dying. <laughs> We're just not giving up with the electricity. Oh, no. Why would we? I didn't point this out last time, but when you go into the past, the music changes uh, to suit the surroundings more. It becomes a little more lively. In the past, our instruments actually work. <laughs> well, they don't know it's the past. Thank God for our enemy factory. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I call my frog impression. Give me a minute, <laughs> like, I'll figure it out. What was the point of that? Slow down time somehow. Or break the machine, you can do that too. <laughs> You've got to pick up the ocarina, man. Can't go anywhere without that inverted song. Thank God they're mining minerals and fruit. <laughs> <laughs> we need protein from those pits. Well, you can't just have a machine that just makes a bad thing constantly, because then you'd be like one of those pollution factories in Captain Planet that just emit pure pollution and do nothing else. <laughs> they make pollution. Yes. A primary export, pollution! Well, you saw what happened to this land. It very well could be that. <laughs> Maybe because there are factory inconsistencies, they started kind of failing. <laughs> oh, great, an uphill. Doesn't change anything. It actually looks like it's going slower. It is going slower. 
That makes all the sense in the world. They look really creepy with those stone robot teeth. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the disco room. <laughs> Well, that's close. At least it's a fast trip back down. And by disco room, I mean our stone storage area, apparently. Our blocks. This is where we design our blocks. Guess what? They're blocks. <laughs> well, tomorrow they'll be blocks, and the day after they'll be blocks. This is kind of the dead end job of this ancient c civilization. <laughs> And just to make your career shorter, we put these explosive porcupines in here. Just to keep you on your toes. And to blow you off them occasionally. <laughs> By example. Where did he come from? <laughs> Wait. You guys are doing a stellar job, aren't you? <laughs> they pop up and it's like, yeah, what are you gonna do now? Yeah. Look at that. I'm a spike ball. <laughs> They look kind of cute when they're not puffed up. They look kind of cute when they're puffed up, too. <laughs> Eventually I figure it out. I need to go off on the side path. I finally figured out. This is an adorable creature factory, isn't it? It's a puppy factory. Adorable, murderous creature factory. Just like most puppies. I don't think puppies <laughs> have scales and spikes on them. They do explode, though. Yeah, that's true. Right. Of course. <laughs> They do have this statistic that says that um, that uh, cats are kind of a murderous creature, you know, that they're one of the few creatures that actually kill for pleasure. <laughs> like dolphins and humans. So here's the dungeon item, the gust bellows. Uh, I think this was in some of the uh, portable games. <laughs> and a front flip of victory. <laughs> like, I think it w this was in Minish Cap. I don't know. That's one of the few I haven't played. It's basically that damn vacuum from Luigi's Mansion. Yep, but in reverse. Mario! Okay. It actually blows away dust, but oh. permanently, which makes no physical sense. Don't kill my babies! It doesn't kill the little scorpions. It just pushes them away and knocks them on their back. It just makes them scream. Or, or so you'd like him to believe. <laughs> it's to make you feel better, Travis. Okay, yay, wait a minute. <laughs> wait, you had to blow the dust away? You couldn't, like, just kick that out of the way? Had to blow it. Th this is the main gimmick of the uh, Linero mining facility. You got dust, blow it away. With a vacuum cleaner. With a reverse vacuum cleaner. It's like, it's a leaf blower, basically. I just imagine him in front of this very small pile of dust, like, I don't know what to do! <laughs> Skyward Sword doesn't suck. It blows! Huh, huh, huh. I don't get it. Just imagine him standing in front of this patch of dirt. What are you? Sticks his face in it. <laughs> 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 Congratulations, you look really cute now. You found a skull in a treasure chest. <laughs> Fuckers! They just want to hug, damn it! <laughs> like, imagine someone put that skull in there, it's just a practical joke. <laughs> the damn Rick that put that tumbleweed in the chest, too. <laughs> you get around, Rick, damn. <laughs> They're thinking that tickles. <laughs> what happened to them? This. Oh, god damn it! Explode into. Sp okay, how many times are you gonna do that? <laughs> Every damn time. How will I make it past this dust pile without a vacuum? I guess we'll never be in this temple. I mean, he uses a sword for everything else. Why not a shovel? I don't know. You can't really scoop with it. Hmm. Just ran right into that block. <laughs> Just dig away the dust. Blow on that block, I'm sure it'll do something. Come on! 
Oh, there was a ladder in the way. Yeah, it was that area we were before. So apparently like, they like to put crates in front of ladders. I wonder if the society sucks. Oh, by the way, those are electric keys. Just not giving up with the electric mechanic. I like you're running away like, I haven't learned my lesson, I haven't learned my lesson! <laughs> <laughs> I can't trust myself to fight it, must go! You're sitting there staring at it for like 10 minutes, just flapping in front of you, you're like... Swing shock! Damn it! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Okay, that one was a face hugger. <laughs> that was so cute though, I just like, hug your head, yay! <laughs> I'm gonna sting your brain! Yay! I would love if it grabbed you and it said, I love you! <laughs> oh. I will never forgive you for this, Thorn. <laughs> I'll never want forgiveness. Fuck him! <laughs> I love the quick groans they try to fit in with, with Link as he pushes things. It's like, ah! <laughs> Just a split second long. <laughs> I like how you kind of just perturb those old floater things if you don't slam anything. It's just like, well, okay. That was a dick move. Whoop! <laughs> Why was I born that if I touch things, I explode? <laughs> I can never have friends. I can never receive any hugs. That makes me sad. I can imagine that little novel where those puffer things actually have a, a love story, and at the very end of the book, the last page, they finally kiss and they explode. <laughs> Happy ending. Who's to say nobody already wrote that on fanfiction? Next to the lovable Dumple. I'd make a request, but the thread doesn't answer any of them. God! Come on, guys! They were so active during Bomberman Hero. Yep. <laughs> God, they're <were> really active. <laughs> Maybe everything needs to sound like Peabot again. That'll do it. <laughs> I will hug your face. <laughs> I love your mouth. <laughs> oh, God! I'm good. I'm good. See that thing? Fuck that thing. It looks like a dick. Oh, my God. Wait till you see it. I just... I'm waiting. You know what? After this whole thing, I'm sure that, you know, you'd stop killing the- Are you serious that it's gonna be a way to open a door? Yes. <laughs> We're very immature in this society. <laughs> Dude, that's- that's worse than the boomerang. They're little tiny robots. They all have the minds of children. And apparently they can make- fix bug things to make them even better. <laughs> Crack, here you go! So yeah, can't fight them from up here, which would be nice, except I have to go down. So here's how you fight them. Wait for them to fire a missile, knock it back at them. Now I have to wait for them to summon these little helicopter dealies, kill them, and then wait for them to fire another missile. And by the way, that's the only way to fight this. And you gotta cut him a specific way. Yep. Your sword sucks. I'm surprised the shield bass doesn't arc the missile and make it go back to him faster. You know what's extra stupid? Once they're dead, they explode into a ton of rupees, which would be, which would be great, but they're always over either a chasm or sinking sand. He also spit out a middle finger rupee, too. <laughs> it might as well. That shouldn't stop you from attaining them. I like how your wind thing's like, oh. <laughs> There's a wind fairy in there, I guess. <laughs> it's singing, and that's what it blows. Oh! Because you know. <laughs> you never know, I mean. <laughs> you, you can stick at the end of that vacuum thing, I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> Wasted opportunity, man. I know, you can I know. Call even more goblins with it. <laughs> it blow them away. <laughs> they would hear you for miles and miles. <laughs> they would just hear this 
majestic wall of them coming over the horizon. <laughs> you just hear that rumbling. The orchestra kicks in. This was a great idea. <laughs> bottom, 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 bottom. I like the cassette tape design up there above the temple door. <laughs> I like how they have one cyborg guy and one uh, normal eye. Ooh, mini boss. Or maybe no, it's just horses. Yeah. I want a mini boss. There is kind of one in this room. It took your fruit! The mini boss in this dungeon is just going to be a room full of yellow shoes. <laughs> It's gonna be a bunch of those adorable little fat scorpions. They even make a cute sound! Yeah. <laughs> Aww. Uh, who left their heart in this dust pile? I did. My heart's in dust. <laughs> oh, blow you around! There, now he's got a buddy that he can die with! <laughs> That would hurt. <laughs> so I told you, little groans. Get bleh, bleh. <laughs> Damn. Uh, not quite. He popped a blood vessel. <laughs> Ow! This is the funny way he twists his ankle. He's just laying on his ground, grabbing his leg like ah. <laughs> oh. Of course. You know, one of these days, one of those scorpions is going to survive. And he's going to witness the genocide of all of his brethren by the evil Dumple. And then there will be a new Zelda game made about it. That's how the Dumple works. He leaves one survivor. You get to live with it. He makes one of them watch. <laughs> This sounds like a plot of a ridiculous movie. <laughs> Baby Scorpion, played by Liam Neeson. <laughs> the Scorpion has to train for years and years until he can finally confront the dreaded Dumple and defeat him and avenge his brethren once and for all. I'm a baby Dumple. I was just thinking of Firefly reference, but um... Which one? <laughs> Anyone. But um, here is this game's version of an Armos. Uh... Blow on its head, and then destroy its two uh, crystals. That's pretty much it. There's going to be a couple later on, and we'll see uh, how they act a little more up close. They mostly just jump around. Jump, jump, jump up and get down? Yep. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. They're kind of annoying, though. That's the fastest I ever killed them. Usually it's not very easy to get both crystals in one go. So the odd thing is you learned your lesson with those guys, but anything electric, fuck that. Yep. <laughs> what if they just put an electric shoe in that treasure chest there? <laughs> you still haven't learned, Dumple. Dumple's not known for brains. More of a brawn character. I mean, it kind of is. I mean, all puzzles require him smacking things or hitting them with bombs. Or in this case, blowing them with a reverse vacuum. Oh, <laughs> That is so unnecessary, Thorn. <laughs> and like outside, we can use the map to see where the walkways are. Could someone make a action movie poster where it's one of those little scorpion things holding a pistol in front of it, kind of like a Die Hard thing? <laughs> This time it's personal. I will find you, <laughs> and I will kill you. And I will hug your face to you. <laughs> I will leave babies in your engine compartment. <laughs> Whap. <laughs> I love it, it just made a crack, so... <laughs> Ow. Crane my neck. Great Rippy! Oh god. That was so worth it! 
Okay, I heard those fuckers. What was that? <laughs> It was either more of the little babies or bats. It was probably the little babies. Have they explained what these things do exactly? We use them to upgrade our uh, items. Just get the through here quickly. <laughs> hey, I found this golden skull. What can you do with it? Hmm. Let's put it in a bag. <laughs> make it bigger. I think I can make you a cool hat out of it. <laughs> Seems kind of heavy. Chew, get out of the way! <laughs> like, imagine you walking around with a hat and someone's just like, that hat makes you look stupid. <laughs> Sad face. See, I made a Firefly reference, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Nerd victory! Victory's mine! <laughs> okay. Mine was subtle. <laughs> kind of. You would not believe your eyes. What a... The little things are shocked. I like how you just slide over there to high five the statue. <laughs> high five me. You took my rupee. <laughs> Why take your life? <laughs> well, I'm saving the world here. I kind of need something to keep me motivated, even if it is just a green rupee. This is giving me claustrophobia. Don't I don't want you to be in this place. Get out. Okay, good. <laughs> I think you should do a backflip. Okay. Oh. Whoa, my god. Should have told me before I recorded. Like, three months ago. Shame on you. No! Oh. You are an asshole! See, that wasn't my fault, though. The spice still that... did. I am free. You... you set him up for that, though. So, yeah, people with OCD, I apologize. <laughs> At least Ash's motion it or something. Then it'll be more amusing. I do think. Yep, I do do that. Yeah, you do! There are there isn't anything big hidden here. There's one rupee chest, which I do get. There's it on the map. But you missed a spot, Thorn. Oh, uh, oh, just you wait. So these games had some kind of like achievement system. I could understand doing this, but you're just doing it for your own soul satisfaction at this point. I'm not getting it all. What you mainly need to do is find the switch to open the door. But I am trying to find the pathway to the chest. You clean it, then one of those puffer things comes out. Oh, thank you. It looks so great. <laughs> Okay, see, they're actually attacking me. I am vindicated. They're hugging you. And now you can die in your newly cleaned room. <laughs> now you have the space to roam free! That one was standing on the spikes. He was a dumbass. <laughs> well, he deserves to die, but... <laughs> that one scorpion that is the dumbass is, like, the mortal enemy of the scorpion that will take his revenge. So he doesn't really care about him. <laughs> Okay, now they're just committing suicide. Okay, that. Uh, <laughs> oh, and you too, apparently. And me too. <laughs> I like your drone. Hey, you guys are stupid, ow! <laughs> you guys are nerds. What the, the hell? boss dust pile. <laughs> <laughs> it did looks like a face. <laughs> it's very upset that it's so dusty. I don't like this. Oh, thank you. Nope, it's actually it's, a minecart. It's a cookbook on it! Oh, God! <laughs> We're just nerd referencing up our asses, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Yes, we are. Tedium! You didn't bother to speed that up? <laughs> I love when he starts to do that sprint because it's kind of a woo 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 start. <laughs> Wait for it. Is that Narmos? No, it's one of those guys. <laughs> I want your red rupee. Okay. <laughs> and it also shoots them out as far as it can, so it no will be a problem. Yeah. It's just a dick. That'd be funny if it didn't fit through the doors. Like, oh come on. <laughs> Now, here's your next puzzle. How are you going to consolidate the mine car? Just hide behind it. Not hard. Angry. 
Yo, Jarvis. Uh, you can pay me back on Monday. My job. <laughs> My job. <jar, yes. laughs> I see you. Right there, I see you. I see you. <laughs> Follow the pit, you bastard. Ha! Huh? <laughs> he is here. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just start sobbing. He landed in a pool of ice cream, Travis, if it makes you feel better. Yay! There's just a yellow chew waiting out there. <laughs> Thank you for releasing me from prison. I was cursed in the slumber. <laughs> this one's happy. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Oh shit! Aw, oh, man! Nah, I'm just a stupid minecart with a faux hawk. Come on! <laughs> Why'd you go and do that, you asshole? I was happy being dirty. I was happy doing nothing. Okay, I'll go for you if it's really that important. I, my question is, how does this temple have so much collective dust? Like, it doesn't collect over everything, it just collects in these little neat piles. <laughs> but everything else looks clean. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Wait, I'm trying to figure out if the Skyward Strike is effective against these guys. Just barely. It's like almost hitting with your normal sword, it's more worth it. <laughs> I just learned the joy of living. <laughs> okay, this is kind of bullshit. I need to wait for the time shift to pass over this. And once I've spun it, I need to hit the time shift stone again to send it back. So far, you've complained about a lot of things being bullshit about this dungeon. This doesn't really sound like a fun dungeon. He complains about a lot of things. So... <laughs> <laughs> that green rupee was worth it. I love that scream was very much of a Disney goofy scream. <laughs> <laughs> it isn't a bad dungeon, but it's like... There's just a lot of an... It's like with any Zelda dungeon, there's a, at least a few obnoxious uh, design choices they made. Someday they'll make perfection, but until then, well, water temple. Yeah, I think that is like the very next dungeon, if memory serves. Is perfection or the opposite? Perfection. Ooh. For the most part. If anything, it's my favorite dungeon. But fuck this one. <laughs> Now they're relying on steam? Yeah. And a lack of repair? <laughs> yeah, you show them. I like how they're laughing at you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crap. Catch one. Can oh. you catch one with your pet? <laughs> I thought you were going to catch one. I still wish we could. I could catch some of these little enemies. That means you could have a pet. <laughs> yeah, it would be awesome. Here, man, have a scorpion. It'd be great. Okay, what the hell? <laughs> Like a tree falls right on your head. Go, oh, come on! <laughs> go, 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 go! Okay. Huh. This is bad. <laughs> Don't touch it! <laughs> You're lucky you missed. I am. <laughs> My weird mode is so out of alignment at this point. Eh. <laughs> I love you made it throw like eh. <laughs> Yay. I need more of that crap. <laughs> Got like twenty of those. These little xylophone things it sounds a bit like Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> Just gonna blow you around this whole area. How dare you stand on my one rupee! I need all the money I can get. Did those things laugh? <laughs> Pretty sure I heard them go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's gonna get over here. We're like, hey, we're actually alive. <laughs> Come back, on. <laughs> Guarantee you, if it's a let's play, I have to make a weird noise for every character. I like how you just like cut open a barrel, there's a mini pack of bombs. <laughs> <laughs> Who stuck these bombs in here? Who stuck them together? That's the real question. 
and made them smaller. It's like in Dead Rising when you find a gun in the trash can. Or, or a katana on top of the roof of that diner. Who <laughs> put this here? <laughs> oh, add an SMG on top of, like, every restaurant in the freaking game. I do like having the Mega Man arm gun, though. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that half-ass little jingle. Yay! Yeah, that's something. Oh, <laughs> well, you did something. There's another one. Fuck that. <laughs> Save us the the patrol here. No, that was actually a puzzle. If you can believe it. I don't. What the pattern in the tiles? Yes. Oh, also, I believe oh. this. <laughs> it's not as simple as it looks, is it? No. In fact, I got a little uh, confused by this. I'll explain once we get over to the other side. Because so, you can see there are more bomb basket things. Right, two. Three, one. Three. Oh, I didn't get to see the pattern. It's something. I'll explain it in a minute. I think it's actually a reference <laughs> to 23 as number one from Ocarina of Time. I think it's a reference to. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> <I did> earlier. <laughs> 23 is number one. Probably means the order you have to throw the bombs in. One, two, three. Yeah, but it's actually it's not immediately obvious uh, what uh, perspective they're thinking from. Yeah, because two is on the left, right? Yeah. I probably mean right across, if anything. Yeah, they mean it right across. I thought they meant from, like, your point of view when I first played it. Oh. So you gotta hit the one over there at the far left first, and then the one on the far right, and then the one in the middle. My bad for insulting you. Oh. <laughs> I went and did it anyway. I still like I used the slingshot. The most accurate tool at your disposal. <laughs> he would fuck it. <laughs> this take longer, but it actually works. Surprisingly. Wait, that was the... What? Yep. Did you get it? It's the order oh. you hit it in. Ow! You have to hit the switch uh, based on where they are directly across from the numbered tiles. Yeah, one, two, three. You get it? <laughs> it's... When I yeah, when I first played it, I thought it meant uh, which was first, second, third, based on your perspective when you looked at the wall. No, it's directly across. That hmm. For some reason, I thought this battle was gonna be much harder. Oh, this one will be. I don't quite get this one. <laughs> oh. And just. It's funny when you miss with the sword, it sounds so puny. You're like, tink. <laughs> I can't get the aim right. There we go. It does, make, it does make a very creepy face, I have to admit. There's the first crystal, and then when you destroy that one, the second face becomes active, and all it does is a quick jump directly at you. It doesn't just hop, it aims. That makes it rather difficult. A little bit more, yeah. Especially if you don't hit it. God damn it. <laughs> By the way, these guys only become active when you enter the, the uh, little circle surrounding them. Like most guardians. Yeah. Dumple's really the only person who's incentive to when they see a crystal, instead of snatching it and hawking it at a pawn shop, he just swings at it with his sword trying to destroy it. That's his that's how he fixes everything. I'm sure if he hits a bomb with a sword it would upgrade. That's how the, he saved the lives of those scorpions. What's that? You got a cold stab. <laughs> I knocked you an ice cream, yay! <laughs> Now, where is this boss door exactly? It's a little further ahead. We, we actually passed it, but uh, we had to get one of those uh, time shift mine carts to it. Oh, this sucks. Also, there was a, um, uh, what's, Bemos along that pathway, but I had killed it during my little wrong direction trek earlier. Hmm. See, the things like this just make it feel tedious. It's not difficult, but it just makes things take much longer. 
Welcome to Legend of Zelda, Travis. <laughs> I don't feel very welcome. <laughs> That's probably a good thing. These stim vents are incredibly sucky. I'm gonna net the dust in. Aw, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it missed. Wait. I don't even care anymore. You say it's gone anyway. Aw, oh, this sucks. Yeah. I see. You're, you, you basically have to move at the pace of the cover. Or you're not really caring. You're just going. Yeah, you do need to move at the pace. Otherwise, the spinner disappears. Can you get stuck in the middle of it? Probably, yeah. Like if it passes you? I guess we'd never found out, but... Yeah, because I know what I'm doing. And there's the boss door. I see, in the past, spikes didn't exist. <laughs> well, Fee. <laughs> I never saw that. You should have looked in the opposite direction. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing this to spite. Master, look at that. That's where we were. This is where you need to go. And that's not correct. And my controller is so out of alignment that I want to try to move it forward and move sideways, so this takes a long time. So speed that up. We've sped up a lot of this video. Yeah. I'm glad I'm not the only person to have had trouble with these things. Uh, there we go. <laughs> it's like I just imagined Link like, my arms don't work! <laughs> He's swinging them around, they're like noodles. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm curious to see what the next boss is, since the last boss we fought was a giant walking Indiana Jones boulder. It's a step back, I'll admit. It's kind of lame, even. It's not very hard. I mean, it looks kind of cool, it's just he's not very special. Or, or tough. It's a spider, isn't it? Close. A crab? It's a it's a giant yellow chew. Please tell me it's a crab. What have we been seeing a lot of? Well there's its mama. You killed my <laughs> babies, you bitch! Yep, there's the mama, <laughs> Scorpion. There there was the scorpion I was talking about earlier. See, here's the thing, if you kept that little baby, it would have grown into that. And it would have been yours. I'd be feel ashamed. By the way, listen to this music. This music fucking rules. This is the best track in all of Zelda history. And they put it in this shitty boss. So I'm not going to I'm not going to worry about it too much cuz the the music shows up a lot later in a better boss fight, which is I consider like the best boss fight ever and it's in the best dungeon ever. So I'm going to wait to truly praise it then. Would you say that's the next one, I guess? The very next one, yeah. I will have to agree with all of what you just said. You get the gimmick here. It's, it's like, we how we've been fighting the Bokoblins. Why would you have eyes in your claws? It's very ineffective. This is pretty awesome music. Yeah. Very triumph. Well, it's so where you see where you're going, or where you're putting your hand. No, there's no point to it either, because once I destroy the claw, it has an eye up front anyway. Look at that. Well, I dug pretty fast. Yeah. Well, damn. And that's how you, this is how you fight the boss. Get rid of the claws when it goes underground. Just blow it out, and then stab it in the eye. What happens if you don't blow it out? Does it attack you underground? No, it just creates more babies and moves around. I'm not even sure if it pops out at all. It just did right there. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> you can see it move, so. I like how they did that effect, where it's just like, hey, random spawning, it's like, you can actually see it move under the sand. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. When the eye turns red, he's about to ram you. The scorpions are known for that. <laughs> <laughs> Their ramming is... It's like you're kind of underutilizing that tail, buddy. Scorpions are also definitely well known for having claws. Not anymore. And maces for tails. But yeah, not anymore. That would have been cooler. It's a shame he didn't get his revenge, and we didn't even give him a name. It had a name, Moldorok. 
No, I said we didn't give it a name. Liam Neeson. Sure. <laughs> whoa, Zany, whoa! This is the true boss. <laughs> the sand. Elevator. Yep. That would be kind of cool to make a giant sand boss. He actually had to use the blowing thing like to blow off its limbs. That would have been kind of cool, yeah. They could shape form in all the other bosses. Got a heart container. And look at the layout of this room. Anyone who's played uh, Spirit Tracks will see the similarities here. Looks like trains. Indeed. All right. Now what? Some more waiting. Oh, look at that. <laughs> more tedium. Another fucking minecart. Is this a Donkey Kong Country level? I've actually noticed that the upgrade to the beetle makes it fly longer. Probably does, yeah. Am I, am I correct? Maybe. I'm not quite <laughs> sure. There are upgrades to make it go faster and to give it more stamina, but I don't know if the robot upgrade does that. Also, I'm really bored here. <laughs> if I even high five each one as you go by. <laughs> yeah, woo! Is this sped up? It looks no. like it is. It's not sped up. Oh, okay. <laughs> you see the the floor disappear and it's more track? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> now for cutscene. My eyes! <laughs> Too bright. Oh, I didn't realize, but apparently my shield was destroyed. <laughs> I was that bad during recording this. And since I am up getting one of everything and upgrading it, I'm gonna have to buy another wooden shield. Hey, I'm actually. Oh, music. <laughs> oh. Hey, I was just amusing this cog, and oh hey! Yeah, diamonds are forever. Does he have an evil mustache now? No. That'd be great, though. Whoa. So yeah, that woman is Impa. I don't know why, but while huh. playing this first time, I didn't exactly call that. Dumple! <laughs> yeah, this doesn't work when it's all intense moments like this. What am I gonna do with this? I don't know how to play the harp. I like you to admire it during this battle. <laughs> well, diamonds aren't forever this time. Ha 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 ha! I'm even holding out my hand like I have a shield. Am I late? Wow, action movie life. <laughs> yeah. He's like, you fucking serious? <laughs> am I late, asshole? <laughs> yes, I am pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> he said, Double says that to Impa. Yep. Yes, enter, enter the shredder, we'll be safe. <laughs> Shut up, your highness. My maniacal plan! <laughs> it's a must. Is that lips or a mustache? Can't tell. That's lipstick. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, now you've done it, Ooh. Dumple. <laughs> Ooh. You piss me off. Ooh. <laughs> I'll punch you, air. Don't don't make me air. <laughs> it's behind me, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> Look at that face like oh man. I can't play the harp for that gear myself. <laughs> There's so much air everywhere. Thank you for the Stargate. I destroyed it. <laughs> I think Legend of Zelda kinda leads the uh or at least kinda champions the whole people making weird sounds. <laughs> <laughs> I can't be asked to fight you myself. I'd love to be there for that voiceover session where it's just like you see that script and it's just like you read it, it's just like no, 
<laughs> now, I'm sorry, you need to do a little bit more wacky than that. <laughs> okay, good. Now, page 75. Hmm. Hmm. Now, imagine you're doing this one, but you're, like, making that face that Wacko Warner makes. <laughs> see, we need to talk, let's, like, see, well, this, in this scene, you know, I feel like I have to explain your motivation here for your nyohos. <laughs> <laughs> that was just depressing. <laughs> I'm doing the best I can. <laughs> That's his natural speaking one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the best actor. <laughs> I'm getting paid enough for this shit. Can we at least take a 13 minute break? Like Bob Dylan on Quaaludes. <laughs> Maybe it is Bob Dylan. I'm sorry I'm a singer, not a voiceover actor. For my voice, it is a changing. 